everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a lot of stuff. Um, first we're going to check into this Bespoke. It's a new company. I think they're comparatively new. I've never heard of them before, but I saw them and I think they're geared towards men, but we're going to find out together. And then we have my very first cause box right here. So I've never opened one of these before. We'll find out what's in here together. First, I just wanted to go over one thing with you. I was supposed to do a presentation for you of a Hello Sanrio box and the GameStop mystery egg, the mega egg from GameStop. Um, I did do it. I did the presentation and it's lingering out there in the time space continuum somewhere, but I didn't have the camera set up right. I didn't have a producer at the time. I do now. Someone's behind the camera helping me out. So I did open these already and I opened them for you, just didn't realize that you weren't there. So I'm going to show you quickly before we get to these other two cool boxes. I'm going to show you quickly what was in these. This is the Hello Sanrio box that I got for $35 in a store called It's Sugar. And I don't know if you have a Tangers outlet near you, but that's where I picked up this box. And I'm going to show you quickly what was in it. Now, remember, I thought I had already done the taping for this. So I opened up these, and I tasted one. And this is a Hello Kitty wafers, I guess. They have the taste of a sweet, crunchy Rice crispy, But they're kind of cute to throw in your bag. If you, you know, like you're in between meals, you can't eat and you're getting a little hungry, you can keep these around. These are great as a little snack for a little girl, a little boy, or a little boy. And what was in these boxes was a whole bunch of Japanese candies and snacks and Hello Kitty Loat Pies, which I'm calling them Loat Pies. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but they were, they're like Malamars. So we have a box of those, little Hello Kitty snacks, Hello Kitty soda, which, I mean, I'm sure is all sugar, but that doesn't mean it tastes bad, and a lot. I have to say, there was a lot in this box, considering the fact that it was only $35, and it is for a kid, mostly. Not me, I'm a Hello Kitty fan, so... It would be for me too. There was a lot of stuff in these boxes. So if during the holidays, you're looking for a cute little gift for a girl or a boy, and you want to pick them up something that has a lot of goodies inside of it, like a treat box with a whole bunch of treats in it, I recommend the Hello Sanrio box at its sugar. That was a good deal. Then, and here's the wrapper for it. I even saved the wrapper to show you what the wrapper looks like. When you go to GameStop, this is the Mega Egg from GameStop, and this also was a pretty good deal. This was $39, and it came with more stuff in it than actually the Sanrio box. I'm going to show you, because I put everything that was in the boxes when I realized my mistake. I put everything that was in the boxes. I can't get it open. Oh, I can't get this open. Okay. So, I'll talk to you while I'm trying to struggle with my egg. Um, I put everything that was in these boxes back inside. And we are going to get this open. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, gamers are girls, they're boys, they're men, they're women. And they love this stuff. I would say that for $39, if you're looking for a gift to give a gamer and you don't know what to get them and, you know, there's no games they want at the time or they have all the games they want, this is great. This was a great deal. I'm going to show you quickly because I really want to move on to the big important boxes. But there was the Pokemon plush. And watch this because I'm not going to go through every single item. There's a lot of repetitive items in here. But it's Kingdom Hearts, Halo, Super Mario Brothers. Just watch, like things just keep coming out of here. And they're from all different games. I think Overwatch was the and fidget spinner. There's two fidget spinners in here. 
I think Overwatch was the most um, toys, you know, for Overwatch that were in here. Five Nights at Freddy's, Naruto, Hello Neighbor, another Hello Neighbor. See, there's a few doubles, but not the doubles is in terms of um, the, the same game, you know, a toy from the same game, but not necessarily the same exact item. There's Fallout 4, there's the other fidget spinner, Steven Universe. Zelda, and was the Overwatch, this set was actually pretty nice, the Overwatch magnet set, which I think was that and the plush are the two big items in the egg, in this egg, and I'm pretty sure every egg is different, you know, basically the same type of stuff in each egg, and if you can see how much I've taken out of it. Um, if something's not right, if something's not worth it, I'm going to say it because we are the consumers and if it ain't right, we have the right to say it. So, here we go. There's some fidget spinners and there's a couple of things in here that I think I'm going to donate, you know, because the holidays are coming up and I think I'm going to donate either the whole egg or, you know, a lot of this stuff to, uh, to a children's hospital for Christmas because, um, you know, to just brighten up someone else's day, I'll fix this later. And now that brings us to this stuff. This is Bespoke Post. I saw, you know, I, I want to do this with you guys. So I was looking around, fishing around for subscription boxes and who was selling mystery boxes for the season, which I still, I haven't come across any new mystery boxes yet, but as soon as I do, I will post one. I will open it and post it. So I saw this beast book. It had some kind of cool stuff in it, and it seems like it's geared towards men. And I know that men have the Dollar Shave Club, and there's a couple of them out there for men. But men don't have their Fab Fit Fun box that they can get every season to, you know, look forward to. I think this might be it. This might be that kind of box. So, that being said, I'm going to put it here. Let's open up. And it is called The Weekender. Okay. And I only, I ordered this not really that long ago. It didn't take that long to come. It comes wrapped in a nice see the inside of the box it comes wrapped like this and I believe this is the same price this cost the same as a fat fit fun box which was $54 or thereabout I don't remember the exact dollar amount if you really need to know let me know in the comments and I'll find out and post it for you I'll get my bill and I'll post it for you so what we have in here not a lot it's really not a lot they advertise a lot of items and so far, we've got this, actually, this pretty cool leather straps on both sides. Very uh, retro, very vintage. Strong, like, metal framed bag. I guess you can use this as a weekend bag. You can use this for fishing. You can take this with you for a whole bunch of different reasons. And there is one gift in here that comes with it. So I'm going to have to say... There are two kind bars. So, I'm sure that this is a well-made bag. And I'm sure that it's, I mean, it's, it's sturdy, it's solid. But they advertised uh, oyster shuckers and a whole bunch of different things that were advertised to come in the box. Now, I, I'm sure that... Although I was expecting a few of them, I'm sure that it was more to choose from, and this is what I got, but I'm going to be honest with you, for $54, a weekend bag, I don't know, like, this is supposed to be like a guy's version of FabFitFun, at least that's the way I saw it, and 
to get two kind bars and a bag for $54. I could be spoiled. It could be that I'm used to getting Fat Fit Fun, which is filled with, you know, $54. It's got like at least eight items inside of it. That could be it. It could be just that I'm a little bit spoiled, but um, I'm not going to keep the subscription for this because for $54, I don't need just one item. I don't think this was worth it, and I am disappointed. I am going to call the Bespoke Weekender subscription box a fail. I don't like it. I think that that was a jet. So, that being said, let's move on to Cause Box, which, like I told you already, is my first Cause Box. Um, I've said it a million times, I get fat for fun, but never gotten Cause Box. So this is my first one. Let's see what's inside. And I don't know, It's it's got pictures, of, a bunch of summer pictures or Oh, it, it's cause box. It goes to charity. It has to do with, you know, going to charities or people, um, uh, I'm going to look it up and put in, the, I'm going to put in the description exactly what cause box is, whether it's that the proceeds go to charities or that what's in the box is made from certain charities. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to elaborate that on the description so that you are, comes, what's in the box. But I don't want to look at the magazine that says what's in the box. I want to $25 off store credit. Um, and it's wrapped a lot like the Fat Fit Fun. But I'm going to also, what I'm saying was making sure that I elaborate on what Clause Box actually is and what it stands for so you understand. It's a pretty little box. Cool little box with a gray and white tote. Let's open up the tote neatly in case I want to give it to somebody. Um, a lot of times when I get these subscription boxes, this is all funded from my own budget, my own pocket. So if I get something that I necessarily wouldn't use or it isn't my taste, I usually gift it. I mean, because let's face it, I'm not getting it for free. I'm paying for all this stuff. So, you know, no sponsors here yet. So this is a cute little bag, it has the strap, very thick, heavy canvas, I like it. I like this a lot. That's a good deal. And here we have my roar. It is over a can oh it's a candle. It's a candle. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the name. But it's, the scent is white cactus. This is the box that it comes in. It's a pretty little candle with a pretty label. And I am going to take care of this, put this back right away, because this would make a great gift. And as much as I love candles, why not share the love? So. So there's that. We have something in this mystery tissue paper here. Let's see what that is. Oh. Oh, it's it's leather and it's kind of soft too. It's not cheap. And I I think I'm going to guess that in a bag like this is makeup brushes. So let's see. Yup. Here we go, nice set of makeup brushes. My sister Christy would love this. So Christy, Merry Christmas. That's a nice set and the leather, it's very soft leather. I love you taste soul, I think it says, I'm not sure. And we have something that looks like medicine. <laughs> In this package and it's wrapped in very thick bubble wrap so <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what this is going to be but this is interesting and it's kind of tight where's that scissor at where's that scissor here it is so I'm sorry it's there's lights in here and it's really warm just whatever we don't care we're just here to hang out and see some new crap See what's in these boxes. Okay. And 
I'm trying to... Malin Getz Recovery Treatment Oil. What? What? <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to do some research on this because this looks really, like, serious. Right? Doesn't it look serious? Recovery Treatment Oil. And I don't... Say hi, Danny. That was my puppy. Um, I don't know much about this. So I'm going to do some research about this and maybe in my next video, if you know, we'll, we'll look it up and then I'll tell you, oh, by the way, the last video, this stuff, that's what this does. So I'll let you know about that. This is a glass ladder and company travel wallet, which I'm not going to open because it's also a pretty cool gift. That I'm going to give somebody for Christmas in their stocking. Not saying no. But it's a Glass Ladder and Company travel wallet. And that's that's cool. It's leather. You know, you can see. I don't, I don't know how soft the leather is because I don't want to open it. And then we have a postcard. We have a postcard. I'm going to send this to my sister, Corinne. And a pretty necklace. Oh, wow. This is really pretty. It's one of those necklaces that has the hoop and the bar that slips through the hoop. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think my camera is as close today as it was, which <laughs> might not be such a bad thing. Might not be too bad. Hide all my flaws. But this is a really pretty necklace, and I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or send this to Christy or Heather. Those are my sisters. And that's it. I think that's it. That is it. There's nothing else in here. Um, I'm not unhappy with Causebox. I will recommend Causebox. It's like another cool fab fit and fun. Fab fit fun. Not fab fit and fun. So I'm going to recommend it. I'm going to say that Causebox is a definite okay with me. I would, I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, I was looking to just see if quickly... This is the fall box, so apparently it comes seasonal. And I was looking quickly if it gave a quick description. I know I read it when I ordered this. I know it, it explained why it's called Cause Box, but I don't I don't really remember why. But there is that does have something to do with like a deeper meaning than just here's a whole bunch of crap. So you can look it up yourself. It's Cause Box. See what they're about. I recommend the subscription. I will be as looking forward to Cause Box as I do FabFitFun. And if you can, if it's not too late, try to get their full box because there's some really cool stuff in here. And I really liked it. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that because the holidays are coming up, I want to put together a mystery box of my own and send it out to the first winner. There'll be a little competition we have going on, on on the channel, so keep your eyes open for that. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ring the bell either way so you can be notified when I put up this mystery box. And I think I'm going to do like a really interesting question that the first person to answer in the comments correctly and is subscribed gets the mystery box that I'm going to put together and send out to you just for the holidays. And that's just for Thanksgiving. Wait till December. And I hope you all have a lovely week. Goodbye. Enjoy. And be good to each other.